There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. I awoke upon a sandy shore, a stretch of beach, outside a bustling city of elves, Vokel Guard. The harborage is in the seaside cave outside the city. It is there that you will find me. Another distraction. So much to do, so little time. So many little treasures. A shell, a coin, an amulet. Akuz finds them all. I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestige. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried-up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. 
This place had the right smell about it. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part of the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. The dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Tharn, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the King of Worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost Amulet of Kings. <laughs>